Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, oh, I have a booger. Today we're going to be doing an Amazon BH Cosmetics and Sephora haul. Well, maybe not so much Sephora, just because I only have one thing from Sephora, but I have quite a few goodies here. Can you see my pull? I have quite a few goodies here, um, ranging from makeup to other lifestyle-esque stuff that I really want to share with you. So if you aren't already, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you always know when I post to Maple, you're distracting me. <laughs> Typically Wednesdays and Saturdays at 9 a.m. Pacific time. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so I wanna start off with BH Cosmetics. I got quite a few things. The first thing I wanna talk about is what I have on my eyes right now. This is the BH Cosmetics Glam Reflection L'Amour palette. They came out with these 10, or no, 15 color shadow palettes. I got this on sale for like 10 bucks. These are amazing palettes. I think there's like four different varieties. I got this one just because I love this packaging, but look at this mirror, you guys. This is like the perfect palette to travel with. It has everything you could need for a look, depending on what color scheme you get and what kind of look you plan on doing. I'm wearing this on my eyes right now. I'm wearing this shade on my outer corner. This kind of is as my transition. This also as my transition and this as my brow bone and my inner corner highlight and then this as like my all over shimmery shade. These are beautiful. I'm gonna swatch them for you or a few shades. Here are a few swatches. You can see they're all really pigmented, really, really creamy. The mattes blend so well, the shimmers as well. I've only applied the shimmer with my fingers, but that's how I would normally apply a shimmer anyway, either like that or with a dampened, wet, uh, flat shader brush. But I really, really recommend this palette, you guys. Like this is just such a great palette to travel with, such a great everyday staple palette. I believe they have like a cool toned one. They have a kind of like sunset one, a neutral one, and then this one. But yeah, great stuff, highly recommend. Next in the box, I bought two blushes from BH Cosmetics. Well, obviously these are BH Cosmetics products, but I bought this one in the shade Fiji Fun, which is what I have on my cheeks right now. There's like shimmer in the pan. This one is Fiji Fun right here. You can see it's more of like a cool toned effect. It has like some shimmers and glitters in the pan, but don't worry, they don't really translate on your face. And also I have the shade Caribbean Coral. I've actually never even opened this yet. So let's see what this looks like. Also their packaging is on point. Like, BH Cosmetics is such an affordable brand, but look, these blushes even have mirrors in them, and I bought these for like $4, okay? Ooh, this one's like more of like a peachy, corally situation, and I love these blushes because they blend really well, the glitter doesn't accentuate your pores or anything, but you can also choose what color you want, or you can mix them together for that like really beautiful, peachy effect. I really, really like these and I'm so excited to play with this color and this color more. All right, so moving right along, I got this Nude Rose Sculpt and Glow Contour and Highlight Palette. This is just kind of like a face palette. I'm wearing um, the contour shade on my cheeks right now underneath that bronzer. By the way, this highlight is insane, okay? It's like insane. Also, this packaging is like so tight in the unicarton. I'm just like having a hard time. This is what it looks like. Honestly, I'm not too impressed with these. I'm gonna swatch some of the shades for you. They actually swatch really pigmentedly. I haven't played around with all of it. This contour, I will say, was a little bit hard to blend, but you know, maple, for God's sakes. All right, so this is what the palette looks like. You get a banana brightening powder, which I really, really like for under the eyes. You get uh, kind of like an icy highlighting powder. Let me swatch this. Ooh, feels very, ooh! Um, yeah, look, okay, you get this blinding white ice, icy highlight that I've never even tried, and then you get these bottom four shades right here. You get this peachy highlight shade. I've swatched them on my hand for you. You get two contour slash bronzy shades. I'm wearing this more cool toned ashy contour on my cheeks right now, and I like it. It's not my favorite. It didn't blend out super easily, but you know, it's okay, it's really affordable. And then this blush, which swatched really, maple! And this really pigmented blush shade that I swatched on my hand. And I actually haven't used it yet, but I'm excited to. It comes in this little tin that reminds me of the Too Faced palettes. Um, but yeah, hopefully it's really good and I'll play around with it more. All right, next up from BH Cosmetics, we have this B by Bubs Beauty 12 color eyeshadow palette. Feels like light, cheap packaging, but you've got a mirror, which is always, always so appreciated. And 
you know, it's great stuff. So you've got um, all these different like neutral, let me switch to this right, these neutral brown tone shades, similar to the L'Amour palette I just picked up and it comes with this plasticky film on top of it, okay. So let's just put that there. I'm gonna swatch a couple of these um, right now and let you know how I feel about them. Okay, so right off the bat, they're not as pigmented or creamy as their L'Amour shades. Ooh, the mattes are really creamy though. The mattes are great. The shimmers, not so much, but the um, mattes are where it's at. The shimmers are a little bit chunky. Like this is a shimmer that I swatched. It looks pretty chunky. I don't know if you guys can tell. The mattes are okay. I'm gonna have to really play around with this on my eyes though, just so I can get a really accurate kind of feel for it. Um, swatches sometimes don't do the shadows justice. You have to really play around with it on their eyes. And also this top is so cute by the way. It has these little like uh, tassel things, but I hate these elastic things because they don't stay up. And yeah, that's, that's what we're working with right now. But yeah, I'm gonna have to play around with this and let you know how I feel. All right, next up for BH Cosmetics, we have a few brushes that I bought. This is the Vegan Flawless Face Brush Set, I believe. Um, this is the powder brush V11, the fan brush V14, the um, flat top foundation brush in V12, and this like concealer pointed versatile brush in V17. And these are all super soft synthetic hairs. I actually haven't used these three yet. I washed all of them yesterday and I used this. You can see it has a little bit of product on it for highlighting my face today. And it really gave me such a blinding highlight. Um, I really missed fan brushes, so that's why I wanted to get this. These are all synthetic. And I remember when I first opened this package last night, I was blown away by this brush specifically. I could not believe how luxe it looks how amazing it looks and how soft it was. Like I don't think I've ever been so blown away by a first encounter with a brush ever. Like this, I didn't even wanna use it today because I was like, it's so perfect, I don't wanna mess it up. But this would be perfect for pressed powder, maybe even for bronzer. You guys always know I'm looking for a bronzer brush even though I have like a gajillion. But this just is so soft and these are so so high quality you just look at them and you're like i cannot believe this set was like ten dollars so definitely check these out they're vegan cruelty free synthetic hairs so versatile you can do literally probably like a full face just with these four brushes all right last but not least from beach cosmetics they threw in this illuminate by ashley tisdale body bronzer that i actually haven't tried yet but you know what maybe i should apply some right now just no you know what? i'm gonna wait but i'm gonna swatch it on my hands just so you guys can see this is in the shade soak in sun it's like a body self tanner bronzer which i actually never use but i thought that since it was a free gift with purchase i was like I'm so excited to try it. So this is one of those things, oh, it sounds pretty liquidy. They say that you should let it dry before dressing. I'm just gonna swatch it on my hand just so that we can see what that, oh my God, okay. Whoa, explosion, major explosion. That stuff is really liquidy and the fact that it's stored like this is dangerous. I just got a sh poop ton on my hand. Okay, um, we're just gonna, I mean, it's it's nice, it's really liquidy though. I don't know. Okay, I'm just gonna like, this is what it looks like. It's got a really pretty bronzy shimmery glow. There is a deeper shade if you are deeper than my skin tone, but obviously it wouldn't be concentrated like this. I'd put it all over my body, but yeah, that's what the color looks like. Just be careful because otherwise you're gonna have a poopish explosion all over your hands with that packaging because that's dangerous. By the way, to wipe out the swatches, I just got these sensitive skin cleansing wipes. These aren't really part of the haul, but I literally just pulled one out for the first time ever. And I got these at the dollar store, but the claims were so good. It says no parabens, harsh chemicals, alcohols, or dyes with vitamin E. So, and it's compared to the simple wipes. So I guess, you know, for sensitive skin. And if these work and they're from the dollar store, I mean, I have to use it on my face, but for swatches, they remove everything beautifully. Um, this might be a new favorite in the month. All right, and then the product I got for Sephora because I was it for BH Cosmetics is the Ordinary Vitamin C Serum. This was the first time I ever purchased something from The Ordinary and I was really, really excited because The Ordinary is such an affordable brand. It's cruelty-free. Their stuff is more kind of 
niche based like it's more so like concentrations of things so it's not so consumer friendly unless you know exactly what acids you want or what ingredients you want it's all very concentrated but i really really like that i bought the vitamin c suspension 30 percent in silicone they had this and a gritty textured one i decided to buy this just because i read it was more effective and more user friendly and it's so weird i used this for the first time last night hey guys um so quickly i just wanted to say i totally forgot to explain to you what i use this for um vitamin c is really good at brightening you know dark spots and stuff and as i've said several times before i struggle with a lot of acne scarring um so that is what i use this for okay thanks bye it literally feels like a primer i applied this after toner after cleansing i only use it at night well i will only use it at night but this is what the bottle looks like it's really really cute and it applies like a primer it's literally silicone the, a little goes a really long way and you just rub it into your skin and it kind of feels a little bit thick but smooth and then it just kind of disappears so you don't really feel anything but it's really really good because you can layer you know your moisturizer on really really nicely on top so i really like that about it but yeah i mean i woke up this morning i don't think i noticed anything like drastic because just, just because i only used it once and i don't think you see like overnight results but i'm really really excited to keep using it it didn't sting my face i know some people when i was reading the reviews on the website that they experienced irritation <clears throat> but you know if it works it's amazing it was like seven or eight bucks and you know there's always a waiting list on sephora for the ordinary from what i've experienced just because they are so affordable and so it makes sense that they're always out of stock but yeah i'm really really excited to play with this more all right and now for amazon because when i was in the middle of filming this tutorial the Amazon guy literally rang my doorbell and I was like, oh my God, yes, now I can do my haul. Okay, I got a bunch of random crapola that you may or may not be interested in, but I'm gonna share it with you anyway. I'm gonna go in no particular order. The first thing I got was this wet brush. This is something that I have been wanting because in the summertime, I like to lighten my hair with sun in and I like to, after I spray my hair, brush it through or comb it through to evenly distribute the product and I just found that my brush wasn't doing it anymore so I wanted to try this out it says it brushes out tangles easily with no pulling tugging or pain you can also use it in the shower when your hair is wet I don't really brush my hair in the shower this is something that I usually would do when my hair is a little bit damper if I have the sun and product in but you can also use it when your hair is dry too so I'm really really excited all right, next up we have something that I am so excited about and it is why I decided to place an order on Amazon in the first place. This is matcha powder, 100% pure organic matcha. I'll let you see what it looks like up close and personal. This is so good for baking, for lattes, for smoothies, and even for like matcha water. I really, really love matcha. I love green tea and drinking green tea almost every single day. And I don't know if you guys know this, but I've mentioned in a couple videos that I'm at work super early in the morning. So I'll drink a cup of iced coffee in the morning. I don't typically like to drink more than one cup just because I don't want like a really, really big crash. But I do find that when I drink my coffee at seven, eight in the morning, I do tend to crash or feel a little bit groggy by noon or 1 p.m. And I had been reading and hearing that matcha is really, really good at giving you more focused energy where you don't crash. So. It just sounds amazing. This is something that I got on Amazon. You can also get it at Walmart for a lot cheaper. My friend actually told me at work, she was like, I just bought matcha powder for like six bucks. And I was like, pay 20 to $25 for mine. But this hopefully is worth it. It's culinary grade. Claims it's a fat blocker, calorie burner, stimulates metabolism, over 1300 antioxidants, jitter-free organic energy, great for baking, etc. And this is only four ounces, but a little goes a really really long way and I plan on using this just in like iced water just scooping a little bit putting into my water and drinking it kind of like iced tea so I'm so so excited all right next up we have my Mario Badescu spray this is so boring at this point because I talk about this in literally like every video but this is the scent aloe cucumber and green tea you guys know that I love these sprays and I really wanted to revisit the scent for the summertime because it's really like fresh I'm gonna spray some right now and invigorating and I just love this scent for summer so yeah I'm so sorry you guys you see me constantly pulling this down like this tub is really cute but it is just such a pain in my arse 
All right, next up for Amazon, since I am growing my brush collection, I wanted to get something where I can store all of my brushes instead of just in their little like cups. I wanted to really organize them by function and by purpose. So I bought this acrylic, clear acrylic vanity organizer. You can use it for so many different things, honestly. It's not even like just for brushes. Oh, hey, they give you a little picture back here. And ooh, I like how it's like, has these ridges at the end that look so luxe. I wanted to buy this because it has these different slots right here. So I was planning on, you know, kind of organizing my brushes by that. Like I have my foundation, bronzer, powder, blush, highlight, like I'm, I would figure it out obviously um, in each of these. Like, ooh. Just kind of like this obviously i wouldn't put these together because this is a powder brush and that's a fan brush so they don't go together but you know what i'm saying and then also since my palette collection is growing i would put more palettes like back here because they're starting to not fit in my drawer anymore i need to start getting storage which will be a spring and summer project for me so yeah i'm very excited about this all right speaking of brushes i got two more of these wet and wild little uh face brushes i already have this powder brush that i recently bought but but I wanted to get the blush brush and then also this crease brush. They are so cheap. They're like a dollar to three dollars, I think. The price is right, let me tell you. And this is what they look like in their little packaging. They are really, really soft. Like honestly, I washed this yesterday. It did not shed or fray at all. Like it still looks perfect. It still looks A1. This is what the brushes look like. This blush brush in comparison to the powder brush is just a little bit more tapered. It's not as fat and fluffy like you can tell right here. The density, like this one's a little bit flatter. The powder brush is more wide and round and perfect for like bronzer, which is what I use this for. Um, but I love how they have these little like thumb thingies here. So I'm excited to use this for blush. It looks really wispy and it looks like it would have the perfect density to really apply brush well to apply blush not brush i'm sorry i always get those mixed up and then this crease brush is perfect and fluffy i think for applying that first kind of wash of transition color it's not dense at all so i'm really really excited to use it all right and last but not least i want to talk about these essential oils that i just bought these are the lavender and peppermint essential oils by the brand um i don't really know the brand but if you search essential oils they'll pop up this is what they look like and i also mentioned in my empties video which i'll also link down below that i just ran out of my lavender oil and i really really love essential oils not only for putting in my diffuser that you see over there but also just for smelling for headaches for rubbing on the bottom of my feet before i go to sleep for putting in my baths like these truly have so many different purposes i love peppermint for like a pick-me-up when i'm feeling unmotivated or when i feel like i'm getting a headache which i've had a headache all morning actually and i'm so glad these came in so i can use it and i love lavender for sleeping like this is the perfect essential oil for calming you down put this in my bath if I want to feel a little bit more relaxed or I'll put it you know on my pulse points or on the bottom of my feet before I go to sleep so I can sleep a little bit better and I just love like doing breathing techniques and breathing exercises with essential oils I think it's just so amazing so definitely check those out and these are pretty affordable these were like eight bucks each and a little goes such a long way all right, everyone, and that was it for this Amazon Beach Cosmetics and random little Sephora haul. I will be doing a high-end haul coming up at the end of the month once the Sephora VIB sale hits. So I'll be doing Sephora, um, Barney's, and I think Nordstrom Rack. I've also got my eye on a couple of things uh, from those websites. So be sure you come back for that. So yeah, that completes this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this and if you would like more hauls. Hauls are honestly one of my favorite videos to film ever. But yeah, I hope you're having an amazing, wonderful day wherever you are. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.